sacred light community. I told you there would be a video to help you integrate and embody this portal energy that we have coming in from Sirius. And I'm excited to share with you about the 8-8 Lions Gate and just recognize what kind of energy we have going on right now, especially with Uranus and the North Node. And anyone who is a Taurus um, is feeling this energy really strong right now um, with this alignment of, of soul, of soul embodying, of soul wanting to create that alignment with mission. So for anyone, you might be having um, a lot of thoughts around what you're doing and where you want to be and what truly is going to light you up um, moving forward. It might be career or relationships. Um, we have this wounded uh, healer energy still moving in and out. So you're feeling that um, that energy from Chiron, the wounded healer where we really are getting an opportunity to see these old wounds, these old stories through a different lens, through a higher lens, a higher perspective lens. And this beautiful alignment with Sirius, um, which is known as the Lion's Gate, this 8-H Lion's Gate, it's been a celebration of the Egyptian um, New Year around this time, uh, starting July 27th, I believe. And it's been a sacred uh, star worship for thousands of years uh, through the Mesopotamian, Babylonian, Egyptian goddesses. There's a lot of really beautiful goddess energy um, of holding this balance of the divine feminine uh, wisdom, heart wisdom, with the higher consciousness of the divine masculine, which is represented by this soul energy, this star gateway of Sirius. Um, so Sirius is this sacred... Um, spiritual embodiment into the physical realm. So you may have heard of Pleiades. Pleiades is the, the energy of um, the cosmic energy of the sacred feminine. Ceres is the, con the cosmic energy of the sacred masculine. So when we are able to hold both these together, we really do get this higher consciousness plus heart wisdom in order to see our past and see our woundedness, but also recognize this luminous body that we are. When we can embody, when we can pull down this cosmic light energy, we are able to embody our divine blueprint, our most um, angelic consciousness. And so working with this serious energy allows us to embody this soul energy through the solar plexus. That's the embodiment, the place where we really can connect to it on a physical level, where the self, the cosmic self meets the physical level, this beautiful embodiment. Um, so the goddesses that connect to this energy because we are in the sun sign of Leo, uh, Ishtar. Ishtar is this beautiful uh, queen of the night, priestess that um, embodied the energy of the eagle with the talons. And she also was surrounded by her owls um, as well as her lions. So she has this very, lion's gate energy 
And the other goss goddesses that were sacred to this energy were also Durga, the Hindu goddess who rides the lioness with her empowerment and her discernment and her wisdom to embody both as well as the Egyptian goddesses um, Sekhmet and Bust, um, the sun and the moon energy of the lion and the cat. So there's this, oh, and Shishat, um, Sheshish, um, the scribe, right? So a lot of these cosmic star uh, symbols were seen in a lot of this hieroglyphic work and um, astrology. Um, archaeology, which really lights me up. So when you find what lights you up, it's just what makes you feel giddy, what what brings that rise in you. Um, these stellar energy stars were seen in connection to a lot of these different goddesses, which marks this kind of Merkaba um, tetrahedron energy, um, sacred geometry that forms with these star systems when we get these specific um, galactic energies and you know the ancients knew how to embody that and how to use that and recognize that the luminous body the light body warrior was within them mm, so what does that do for us what does that do for us um, right here right now well it allows us to have more spiritual insight the bigger picture for healing these old wounds. It also creates more clarity and new awarenesses of maybe what we want to be doing, what soul-led desires we have in order to embody and embrace um, that soul energy, right? That soul energy and how it wants to express itself and because we are connecting into this cosmic energy, this um, universal energy, we are also being asked to see things on a universal level, beyond self, right? And maybe even beyond other human beings, maybe even including the sacredness of, of all beings on this planet, of all energy on this planet, from the animals, the plants, the trees, the crystals and even universal um, oneness consciousness so healing this creates a great opportunity for healing to be able to open up on all levels to really know yourself as a light being embodied into this physical world this physical skin bones um humanness that we are and also to own that light and embrace and embody that light so with that comes the question of what gets in the way of that what gets in the way of soul wanting to express itself um because we can be very limited by our past by our past lens in which we see the world through from our traumas from these fears and self-doubts that keep us continuing to be small, to not be heard, to not be seen, um, and, and, and allowing these wounds of the past, this old way of being, to change only through the present moment by what we feel, what we perceive, and the actions we take on that. That is how we move. That is how we rewrite our future. So let's rise up into Sirius. Right? Let's let the light shine and embody through. Ask yourself, how does soul want to express itself at its physical level? Because when we connect that into the heart chakra, that heart energy of the divine feminine, of seeing through that lens, and we're anchoring in this cosmic, masculine, divine energy and balance, we get this fifth dimensional way of living. We get the balance of both. 
um, to embody both energies through this sacred transformational journey that we are finding our way through into unity consciousness or oneness. Hmm, so how do you want to feel? How does soul want to express itself? And maybe just notice what gets in the way of being heard, being seen. You know, when soul wants to express itself, it comes out through joy. It comes out through pleasure. It comes out through passion. Into the heart center. 
center, all the way down to the solar plexus, our place of our strength, our sense of self, and not just sense of self, but sense of soul self. together embodying itself through the masculine and feminine within this soul embodiment is about finding that balance within 
and I have workshops that offer these experiences throughout the season and we are getting ready to start the next one. So connect in with me and discover how this process can be so fun and pleasurable and enjoyable as we move and hold both the light and the shadow together. Because as we heal through these wounds, we have to work through these shadowy places. But as we do that, we get to embody more and more of our light and more and more of who we are in order to truly light up this world. And that will naturally magnetize the opportunities, the energy to you to create more of those pleasurable, enjoyable, amazing sacred transformations.